What's up guys, it's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and this is episode 37 of my ultimate motherfucking Vault Hunter Let's Play, and we are going to the road of 61, and we are in level 57 right now, and we are about halfway through the tour motherfucking DLC, and we're on our way to fight Pyro Pete. And not Pyro Pete the Ultra Invincible, we are fighting just the story mode Pete, and the difference between them is huge because uh he's really easy to beat in story mode he might be tough solo right now i don't know i haven't played him solo i played him with my siren and that just means i slagged him with my ruin and busted through him with a sand hulk which is not very fucking hard to do and well, let's go ahead and give him a slag uh i oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah suck on my jangle suck on my jangle <laughs> this right here is where my scuff controller really comes into play. You can see it too, like, I, I can actually aim. Let's go ahead and give him one of these. Oh shit, I forgot the fucking the shit turns on all by itself. Uh, let's go ahead, we gotta, we gotta go ahead and give him one of these things. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> let's go ahead and fucking just, he's done. We, we got him slagged, we got the Harold out. Uh, we're gonna just go ahead and just fuck him up. We're done here, fellas. Pyro Pete is a little bitch. You're a little bitch, Pyro Pete. <laughs> and he stays slagged for so long, too. Even. Oh! Oh, there we are. There we are. Where's my loot explosion? Oh, 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 ew! Ew! Look at his genitals. <laughs> Looks, you don't see him? He's got balls in his mouth right there. That's nasty. Oh, and as, as Cleveland would say from Family Guy. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> I love Cleveland. He's way better than fucking Family Guy. And, uh, I'm not a real big Family Guy fan anyway, especially since, you know, they made 9-11 jokes. And, you know, I, I guess, you know, you're free to make whatever jokes you want. But you know what? I'm free to watch whatever show I want. And I don't want to watch a show that makes 9-11 jokes. Just call me crazy. Call me crazy. I might be a decent person like that. But, uh... You know, I, I can get offensive, and I can get vulgar, but there are lines that you probably shouldn't cross, especially, especially if you are putting yourself out there in the public. Uh, let's go ahead and open these boxes, though. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Come on, Infinity. No, nope. What are, are they? They're just tearing ass in that bar up there. Jesus Christ. Come on, Legendary. Nope. Uh, 48% melee damage, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Unequaled professional. Oh! That, that is what I was looking for! This is what I was looking for! This is, this, oh my god! This is the exact class mod, an unequaled professional. Look at that. That is exactly what I wanted. This is my two-fang. This is gonna be the new class mod for my fucking, uh, for my skills. Look at this. Let's go ahead and see. Let's put this on real quick because this boosts rising shot and follow through. Not a big deal, but uh, you see how it says pistol fire rate right there? That that boosts 26%, so we're going to lose a little bit of fire rate, but we're probably going to pick it up. Let's swap that out right there. Let's check my two fang now. What's my, what am I at now? 48% chance to fire two shots, so let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, woo! I don't know, is is my fire rate actually higher with this? Is it actually higher? Let's let's go ahead and check. Let's see what that looks like against the Disturbed Stalker. Uh, and then let's check out the Two Fang one. Where's that at? Oh yeah! That is actually way faster. That's good. This is gonna work out real well. This is the beginning right here of my new forever alone class setup all right so if you guys see an unequaled professional class mod like that and you're trying to put together my level 61 version of this fucking class go ahead and get yourself some fucking two fang shit look at that we're gonna see we're gonna see exactly how this works out from here on out but we gotta free our sponsor Woo -wee! look at that sponsor I would actually become an alcoholic and go to Alcoholics Anonymous 
if I can get a sponsor like that. Look at her booby shake. All right. I don't want to fuck cartoons, but I want to fuck that cartoon you right there. Me, yeah, I miss you. Look at that. They even made her titties a lot bigger in this fucking, uh, in this DLC. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's slap her ass. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I love Miss Moxie. She is amazing. Let's grab our motherfucking torque tokens. We are on the way. We are on the way to the end of this DLC. And, uh, you know, none of these really look worth it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm fine with my legendaries right now. I was gonna go ahead and uh, pick up some of the, uh, some shit from you guys, but, you know, I don't really need it, though. I mean, wow, that is actually a really high, uh, burn. Woo, but the Blight Phoenix kind of sucks ass on that. So, nope, uh, don't want that. Don't want that. Uh, <laughs> let's see, main, that is a really high melee, and I'm probably gonna... I think I have a 49% lane around here somewhere, but I'm pretty sure right now. Let's see what else this class mod boosts. I forgot. Let's go uh, unequaled professional and killer. Do I have the killer skill? Yes, I do. This gives us a huge critical hit damage when we kill an enemy. So not only, uh, we're not really losing anything because we still have five out of five of follow through, which is going to make us still pretty strong. And, uh, I I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that this is going to give us what we need to keep to be competitive at with level 50 guns right now. So, let's keep going on, see where we're going. And uh there is another thing that uh you guys posted in the comments that I do want to address in this let's play. I've made a few uh commentaries about it, but I do want to stress this uh a little bit. I have almost 30,000 motherfucking subscribers right now. Which is a lot of motherfucking people. That is twice, twice the capacity of Madison Square Garden. What? Alright, so the reason I'm saying that is because it is impossible for me to accept everybody's friend request. Even if I made a new gamer tag, every, like, you know, hundred people, I can't afford to make fucking, like, fucking, what is that, like, 10,000 gamer tags? I don't fucking know. I'm not really fucking sure. But, uh... You know, that's a lot of fucking gamer tags, and that's a lot of people, and I can only have a hundred on my Xbox Live friends list, and as soon as I delete friends, the, uh, well not friends, but friend requests, they come in all, all over again, and I, it, literally, I cannot accept them all, it's just, it's impossible for me. So what I do is, since I can't accept all my subscribers' requests, what I do is I deny all of them, that way it's fair, alright? And then I tweet out with you guys, and I'm like, hey, fucking, you know, if you guys want to play, let me know. I'm here, you know, I'm playing this. This is like, you know, I'll tell you, if I'm playing Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, I'll be like, I'm a level 57. I need a level 57, you know, crew to roll with, blah, blah, blah. And that's why, that's why I stress the importance of following me on Twitter or Facebook. But I post on Twitter more often than I do on Facebook. Uh, to be honest, I'm more comfortable. More comfortable with Twitter. Oh, jackpot box. What up? <laughs> but uh, I am more comfortable with Twitter than I am Facebook. Uh, I, I really don't know how to use all of the features of Facebook, really. Uh, I've only started using Facebook like last year, and uh, I just, I, I'm not a big fan of it. Not a big motherfucking fan. So anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and get away from these motherfuckers. They ain't gonna follow me where I'm going. <laughs> all right, so uh, yeah, I can't accept them all. So the only fair thing to do is to decline them all. Now, like I said, uh, uh, Steam is a different story. Steam and PS3. I haven't turned my PS3 on in months. So those of you guys that have sent me, you know, friend requests on PS3, uh, next time I turn my PS on, PS3 on will probably be when The Last of Us comes out. So don't, uh, don't, don't think I'm ignoring you. I'm just ignoring PS3 altogether. And that's not, that's not against you guys, it's, you, you guys, PS3 is a good system, PSN is a shitty online, and, you know, I'm not gonna tell somebody to, oh, go out and buy an Xbox if you wanna play with me, no, no, it's just, uh, you know, I, I have every system, and it's hard to split in between all the systems that I have, so fucking, what I do is, is I just play on Xbox and Steam, mostly, Xbox and Steam, but, uh, yeah, I just, it, it's just how it is, man. I, I love PC gaming because the graphics, I love using a mouse and keyboard. I am all for that. 
Xbox, I love Xbox Live. I love the party system, chatting with people, having a good time. That is that is awesome. But fucking when it comes to like, uh, do we have enough for that? No, that's 613. That is crazy. 613. Oh, wait. Was that Pocket Rocket? Did that Did that have a gun stock on it? It did not. Should we? Should we? Yeah, let's go ahead. We'll, we'll, we'll buy that shit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going and we gotta meet our next trainer. And I'm sorry for all the jump cuts, even though you don't really notice them, sometimes you do. But the reason I have a lot of jump cuts today in these videos is because fucking, it is, it is like spring out. Winter is turning into spring and I have allergies. <sighs> So, you know, sometimes I have to sneeze, and I'll stop, I'll sneeze. I don't want to keep that in the video. Uh, one of my biggest pet peeves while watching, like, you know, I have a lot of subscribers that send me videos, and they're like, hey, can you check this video out? You know, I worked real hard on it, blah, blah, blah. One of the biggest pet peeves I have is because I wear headphones to, uh, you know, watch, watch the internet, or when I'm sitting on a computer, I always have a set of headphones on. So, if I hear somebody coughing, or sneezing or gagging whatever it may be that the allergies might get to you uh, whatever that is if you don't cut that out I it's just the biggest pet peeve I've ever had is people coughing in my fucking ear hate that shit I hate it so if I have to cough or I have to sniffle uh, I will pause it and then I'll write down the time I'll write down the time that it happened Oh, oh, like I, I'm watching Audacity right now. That's a program I use to record my voice. And I'll write down the exact time I paused it. And when I edit my videos, I go back and I cut that out. I cut the video out. I splice that back together. And boom. Now I have a jump cut. And you know what? I'd rather you guys watch a jump cut than watch you guys fucking hear me fucking coughing all up in your fucking ear. Because uh, I've had people say that before. They're like, man, when you play on Xbox, you know, you're coughing, fucking. I've never heard you cough in one of your videos. Man, I cut that shit out. That's a lot of editing, too. It really is a lot of motherfucking editing. But you know what? It's really, it, it is worth it. It really is. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And we're going to go ahead and put on my, where's my pimper now? I have a level 55 corrosive. Yes, because there is going to be a lot of of bots, uh, robots, robot motherfucker, and they had to put this area in because, you know, every DLC needs to have a robot area because, you know, there's robots in this game, so that's, that's pretty much how the DLCs work, so this is your, your token robot little area for this DLC, and, uh, there's no other robots in this DLC, but in this area and the area where you flight, where you flight, where you fight to fly, boy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just, I hate when people cough up in my ear. I hate that shit. So I cut that shit out myself. And that, that's one thing that I do, uh, do notice. Like, when I talk to people that ask for help on YouTube and shit, like, I'm not, I'm not a guru. Like, I have helped people grow their channels, but that's because, you know, they, they listened. They listened to the advice and they applied it. I can't force anybody to apply anything to their own channel, I can only give you guys pointers, whether you take it or not, or you have the uh, dedication to go through an hour and a half long footage and cut out all the parts where you might have sneezed or sniffled or fucking made a noise that people might not want to hear. The only ones I do keep in are farts and burps, because farts and burps are funny. <laughs> but seriously, I the, the biggest thing is, is if you don't like it, don't put that in your own video. Perfect advice right there. And this, this motherfucker's fucked before he even spawns. Ready? Boop. Yeah, baby. The Pimpernel works way better on robots than it does any other fucking... Because the robots right there, you see that? They just fucking... They get stuck. Or their fucking legs fall off. And they go boom. And they, they die. <laughs> Look at this guy. Ready? Boop. Oh, baby. Yeah. And I'll just let the... Uh, let, let the rest of that pull them off, but uh, I'm I'm pretty pretty sure this two fang. Oh uh, no 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 no. Oh, did that go through? I thought it did. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's just uh, yeah, baby. All right, he's fucked. I was actually gonna let him put me down. That way I can get back up, but there is no need for it. 
There's no need for it. I love killing bots. I love killing robots. What what the hell? Oh, I gotta steal the cookies. God damn it. This is actually a really easy mission too. You don't you can actually just run through, steal all the cookies, and then make your way back and you're done. You're done! But uh you know, I like to kill people. But damn That shit when you made it rain, I said god damn I say god damn, I said god damn. And if you don't know where I got that from, that's like one of the things I always, god damn. I always say in my videos, when I say god damn, I say god damn. That I got from fucking Pope Fiction, motherfucker. One of the greatest movies of all time. Look at this. Two Fang, baby. <laughs> We're actually whooping some ass right now. This is, this is pretty fucking... This, this is showing off the skills of the Pimpernel so, so much. Look at that shit. Oh, oh, wait. I didn't even know there's one in front. There's more than one. Oh, no, no, no. I'll just, I'll just spray him. Boop, boop. Oh, look at that. Did you see the two fang hit? Did you see the two fang hit? I saw it hit. I, it went ba boom. Ba boom. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for is to have extra skills plus class mods that are boosting said skills. And now we're gonna start having some fun. And once we start getting some fucking weapons that are appropriate level, like, I'm using a level 55 Pimpernel right now. I've also, I also had a level 50 carry me all the way through here. So, I mean, come on. What can you, what, what more can you ask from, from a level 50 unique to carry you five fucking levels? Five levels. And that goes back to what we were saying before. That's without weapon proficiencies. Without proficiencies. That's a... Uh, I think... Look at that. Damn. I'm just gonna let you die. I'm just gonna let you die. Look, oh, look at all these. Woo! We are, we are a monster now. I'm a monster, baby. <laughs> I am just so happy right now to be fucking whooping ass with my pimpy now. What my pimpernel. Don't you love it? Uh, why is this all the way up here? That's gay. Oh, look at this. Uh, you're done. You're done! What are you gonna do? You don't have a pimpernel. I do. <laughs> Sorry about this. I'm just... I am so much having fun right now with this playthrough. I, I know you guys... You guys... A lot of people were saying like... Oh, shit. Oh, man. You gotta destroy the food dispensers. Fucking, <laughs> I know a lot of you guys were saying, like, I, I forget who it was, but it was, like, one of my haters, and I, I have a lot of haters, uh, that's, that's crazy, isn't it, like, I'm, I, I don't, I don't fuck with anybody, like, I don't, I don't have a problem with nobody, and yet I have haters, like, I don't even understand how that's fucking possible, really, like, seriously, Oop. let's go ahead and Norfleet this shit out of me. Uh, what are you gonna? What's this guy gonna do? He's gonna get pimpernailed. <laughs> but yeah, I don't understand. How can somebody hate me? All I do is try to help you. All I do is try to help people, and the people hate me. Let's fucking and I, like. I'm sorry if 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 you're the, one of the people that wanted help, and I don't, I didn't have time to get to you, or I helped somebody else instead of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but the, that's what the videos are for. The videos are my helpful guides for everybody. And some of them some of them are pretty decent. Some of them are pretty decent. But uh, I don't know where I was going with that. But I just, I can't believe that, like, there there be haters for, like, you know, for YouTube. Like, I don't, I don't understand how how that works, really. It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's silly. It's silly. Because, you know, I'm just trying to have fun. And I got... Like I said, from... Oh, yeah, I remember where I was going. Oh, he's doing the Terminator crawl. He's doing the Terminator crawl. I got fucking... I got shit from somebody. They are like... They sent me a fucking message, and they said... They said, uh... I can deal with you talking loud, right? He said, but the fake enthusiasm for a game you've been playing for over six months is... Like, he goes, I, it's intolerable. And I was like, wait a minute... 
fake enthusiasm? What fake enthusiasm, motherfucker? Do you, do you think I'm faking enjoying this game? Why would I do that? Like, uh, fucking, I don't make enough money off YouTube to fake it. Holy shit. Like, seriously, I'll tell you straight up. I make enough to buy beer to get drunk for free a month. That's it. That's it. I don't, I'm not sitting on a pile of riches. Everything that I have, I've bought, except for some of the things like capture cards that I do reviews on. But you know what? That's like, fucking, it's cool to have capture cards, yeah, but that's not the end-all, be-all, fucking, you know? This shit, this shit takes time. And I, I could be making way more fucking money, you know, if I took the time to not do YouTube and actually focus on the shit I do in real life. That shit, that shit makes money. That's fucking, you know, but I do this because I like to do it. And fucking, I just can't believe how somebody would say that they fake enthusiasm for a YouTube video. If you've, if you've ever watched my channel, you'll know that I fucking, I've changed games. Every time that I fucking hate a game, like fucking Gotham City Imposters, I stayed around for about four months on that game, and fucking, the only reason I did was because I was trying to convince the developers that there was a community, and there are people there that will support the game, but they didn't want to fucking, they didn't want to help out the community, so I stuck around for a few months and they didn't fix it, they actually started bringing out more shit to try to make more money in other games, and I said, you know what, fuck it. I'm done with this, you know? I'm not gonna fucking play, like, like Call of Duty for fucking five years. I don't fucking... No, I buy a Call of Duty once a year because, uh, you know, Modern Warfare 3, I was holding out that it was as good as Modern Warfare 2. And I enjoyed the original Black Ops. The original Black Ops I enjoyed up until around... Nobody believes me about this. The only person ever that ever will believe me about this is probably fucking El Presidor. But... In January of the year that Black Ops came out, uh, there was a patch to the game. There was a patch to the game. And fucking, you know, it, it upped or fucked up something with lag compensation. And since I have a really good internet connection, I get handicapped. I, shit. I get handicapped in that game. I can't fucking, I can't do anything. Like, I put bullet after bullet after bullet into people. And it doesn't do anything. And I've only had a problem with this after that patch on Black Ops. Modern Warfare 3 had it and so did Black Ops 2. I even have, like, video footage of that shit happening on my fucking channel somewhere. But, you know, and it pissed me off. So the only reason I bought Black Ops 2 is because I realized that, you know, Modern Warfare 3 and fucking uh, Black Ops 2 were made by two different developers. So I gave them both one shot to fix their fucking shit. And they didn't. They didn't fix their shit. So there will be no more CODs bought after this. The only maybe, maybe, if the next COD is on a next generation system, I, I might rent it to try it out. But, you know, in my opinion, there hasn't been a really stellar Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2. And I know there's a lot of glitches and shit in there, like fucking One Man Army and all that other bullshit. But you know what? Fucking, it was fun. It was fun to the core. It was fun. I liked running around with fucking dual G18s and a riot shield and fucking shit up and crap and thunder and lightning all over your face. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't play games just because, you know, oh, I'm gonna get internet famous off this. No, fucking, I didn't even know about YouTube until fucking my buddies told me about it. Well, I knew about YouTube, but I didn't know about the gaming section of YouTube until, uh, you know, my buddies showed me that people were doing this, and that looked like fun, and my friends were, you know, talking about how much fun they were having doing it, and that's why, that's why I started doing YouTube, because they were like, man, it's so much fun. Do it. Do it. And I did it, and it worked out, and it was fun. But, uh, the big thing is, is, like, tomorrow is actually my two-year anniversary of my first commentary on YouTube. Which, in my opinion, is fucking amazing, isn't it? That is a great thing, because, you know, I've able to last two years on YouTube, and half the time, I barely had any fucking subscribers. And that, that shows you right there, like, I don't, I don't give a fuck, or like, I care about subscribers, I've said this before, I care about my subscribers, but the thing is, 
is when I say I don't care about subs, I am saying I don't care about my sub count. The individual sub as a person means a whole hell of a lot. But the number that says it right next to my channel of how many subs, that doesn't tell you how good of a YouTuber I am. That doesn't tell you, you know, how good my videos are. That does not mean shit. And I hate, I hate it when I see people say, Oh, well, you got a big channel. No, not really. 30,000 subscribers is not a lot of people when you consider how many subscribers there are out there on YouTube. I mean, you look at some of the gaming channels out there. They got, what, millions, millions of fucking subscribers. Now, that is big. That is where you know that you are. You can consider yourself famous. Right now, like I said, I, that's why it, it gets awkward when I get in a party with you guys sometimes. Because I love talking with you guys. But everybody... Ah, you motherfucker. Did he really just do that? But when I get in a party with you guys, sometimes it gets a little awkward because, you know, I'm just I'm just a regular ass dude, you know? Drinking beers, hanging out, fucking chilling with you guys, fucking... And then sometimes, you know... Some people get... Oh, you... What the fuck was that? Did you see that? It just... I don't understand what that was. Bullshit. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I'm just a regular dude and I feel like... You know, I feel like I have to be... I feel like I'm not as amazing as you think I am. Like, in a party. When I get in a party, I'm just like... Hey, what's up, guys? Maybe... Maybe I was tired that night. Maybe, you know... Maybe it wasn't... Maybe I wasn't entertaining in a party. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I disappoint you guys. I really do when I get in a party with you, because you you guys are expecting me to be like something that I really that I'm really not. I'm not like you know. I'm just I'm just a regular ass dude having a little bit of fun, and you know everybody like everybody expects me to be like you know the funnest motherfucker at a party. Sometimes sometimes I don't even have my mic on. I just mute myself and put on some music while I'm playing, and that's that's just a you know that's just how I get down, right? That's just how we get down. So, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is, uh, this should be the end right here. This should be the end of this episode. Yeah! <laughs> so, my name is Jay. I'm not amazing. I'm just me. <laughs> Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could throw a thumbs up on the video... I would highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers. So like I said, my name is Jay Morton After Kill. Make sure you guys really comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to see you guys later.